thing that was interesting is I've known Kale for maybe two years, just on rides. N never, you know, at, at business wise, I've um, went to his business and um, not really. I would never say that Kale and I were we were friendly, but not really friends. And the same with Roger. Like I've been to his birthday, I've hung out, I've been to his house, I've hung out with him a few times, but not like eight days of like in each other's business. And um, I've come, as I've grown older, I've realized that I have friends that are like, you know, once a month friends, once a year friends, lunchtime friends, I can hang out for 45 minutes with this person or a weekend <laughs> friend. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And I thought, this is kind of a risk. Like I'm hanging out with these two guys that I don't really genuinely know for eight days of like beginning and lunch, breakfast, dinner. We're hanging out, we're spending time together. And I loved it. I had such a great time with these two guys. And I know that sometimes my impatience and my anger would <laughs> roll out because I'm an impatient guy when I get tired. And when I get hungry, I'm, I'm feed the bear, man. Just feed the bear. I know that about me. I'm not pleasant all the time. Most of the time, though, I'm a beam of sunshine. <laughs> But until you get I, tired and hungry, <laughs> yeah. And after the ride was over and we were peeling off, and Roger was going his way, and Kale went um, his way, and I went my way, I thought, oh, man, I love these guys. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be friends with Kale for the rest of my life because of this one adventure that we went on. Because there were some true, like amazing, like beautiful moments, and some real just shit show moments where you just like, like, you know, you're in the trenches with your brother, kind of a moment. And so that was like a big takeaway for me is like. I got really lucky to go on a trip with these two gentlemen because I really genuinely like them. There was there was times like one time at the restaurant I almost punched Roger in the face. <laughs> there it is. There we go. Yeah. Mon Capitan. I was gonna drop him like an I started elk. eating my food really fast because I'm like we're gonna get kicked out of here because yeah. Rob's happened? like don't say that again or I'll yell I'll yell louder I'll yell louder and Roger kept saying Roger it. he wanted to talk about he wanted to talk. Um, negatively about Mexican food, which I'm a huge fan of. <laughs> That's what you almost dropped Roger But he, my food came, and he was talking about things about my food. This is my dinner, and he was saying things, and I'm like, stop talking. <laughs> and he kept talking, and I'm like, stop! Stop! Or something like that. so bad, guy. Like, People in the restaurant were looking over because I'm yelling, Stop! <laughs> I literally just started going. <laughs> Kel, <laughs> Kel thought we were getting like, kicked out. Know, that was the only Mexican food meal we, I was going to get on yeah. that trip because Roger just refused. He, he doesn't like oh, Mexican man. food. What? He's racist against Mexican food. Yeah, Mon right. Capitan. How do you do that? I don't know. He's got something against yep. it. Yeah. We kind of, I, I like went over. They, um, I was hungry and I went and washed my bike one night and I'm like, I pulled past this restaurant and I'm like, I'm going there. I don't care where those guys go. I was like over it and you know. The mm -hmm, bear, mm -hmm. feed the bear. Yep. So I pulled in, and uh, Kale texts me in the group, and he's like, "Where are you at?" And I'm like, "I'm at a Mexican restaurant." And he's like, "I'm on my way." There was like zero, <laughs> <laughs> there was zero hesitation. Uh, then Roger comes in with his drink in a cup, like, "Oh my gosh, here we go!" And um, he wouldn't quit talking trash on Mexican food, so I had to. He did not eat, by the way. He just sat there and drank and bitched and talked about crap about Mexican food. It was, yeah. yeah. We've and got, I'm, I'm not. I'm pretty sure that Roger could probably kick my ass. I'm pretty sure he's got the reach. You know what I mean? But I was not going to hear it about my dinner. I would. I was gladly go to the grave rather than talk crap about my combo meal. We've got to get Roger in here as well to get both sides of this story. <laughs> Roger would deny it. Oh he would deny it. Hold on. We got our third party. Kale. Is that how it went? Yeah, yeah, that's about how it went. <laughs> there wasn't any, there wasn't animosity in it. There wasn't like, there wasn't anger in it. It was just like, I'm going to punch you in the throat. Like, it was just a statement of fact. Like, dudes can do that. You know what I mean? I, no one holds a grudge around here. But at, the next day, I'm like, hey, man, are we cool? He's like, about what? And I'm like, you know, last night when I was going to punch you in the face, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're fine. Like, he didn't even, he didn't think <laughs> twice of it. <laughs> didn't even, yeah, didn't even, he didn't even register as like me yelling at a restaurant as loud as I could. Oh, man. If you'd like that clip and would like to watch another one, click right here. If you'd like to watch the whole video, click right here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.